What's crack? It's Vangelina Scov. And if you hear some weird noises, it's because my cat is in the room licking herself. But we're not going to be talking about that in today's video, obviously. Today, we're going to be talking about Shane Dawson, Ryland Adams, and Morgan Adams. And besides that, we are also in this room today. Yay, with the better lighting and the better audio. <laughs> it's not too hot today, so I can actually be in this room without melting. Round of applause for me. <laughs> So yes, Rylan Adams put up a video not related to Shane talking about his meditation journey and things like that, but in it he did also talk about Shane and his past. So we're going to be going over a little bit about what he had to say and we're also going to be talking about what Morgan had to say about Shane's old videos as well. But before we get into that, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. And if you want to, you can also check out the memberships with the little join button right beside the subscribe button. But on to the video. So it's been a little while since I have covered Shane on this channel, so if you need a little bit of a refresher or you don't know what the hell's going on, let me summarize it as briefly as I can just to give you the main points of what you need to know to understand what Ryland is talking about. Last year, Tati Westbrook put out a video called By Sister, which was 40 minutes long and basically her saying that James Charles was a terrible person and after that, everybody cancelled him, hated him and thought that he was a lot of terrible things and that he had been manipulating straight guys and things like that. Now everyone was very quick to jump on the screw James mentality, including unsurprisingly Jeffree Star because Jeffree does tend to get involved with any drama that he possibly can. Don't know if it's just good for business or he can't help himself, but that's just what happens. Now after that whole debacle, James cleared his name, everything was sort of okay-ish, people still didn't like James, but some people did. It's just the way YouTube goes. But a little while ago, new evidence came out pointing to the possibility that Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star had orchestrated the entire Bi Sister scandal. Now obviously Jeffree Star got a lot of hate for this, but Shane got the brunt of it, mostly because Shane had been seen as this empathic person who would never do anything to harm somebody else and people were shocked by it. But another reason that Shane got so much of the hate was because people started to dig up his past videos where he said a lot of racist things, did blackface, said a lot of sexist things and made a lot of jokes about children that were really not okay. And thus came the attempted cancelling of Shane Dawson. Now, a couple other things happened after that, but you don't really need to know that to understand what's happening right now. So in present day, Shane hasn't been on social media and he hasn't uploaded anything to YouTube, although he does not upload to YouTube very frequently anyway recently since he focuses on doing longer documentary type things and only does those every couple of months. However, now his husband Ryland has uploaded a video called My Past, My Present, My Future, 30 Days of Meditation. Obviously, by the title, this is not a video about Shane. But in the video, he does talk a little bit about the situation. And his basic message is that the person that Shane was then is not the person that he knows now. And he understands that Shane made a lot of bad jokes that he shouldn't have made and said a lot of things that he shouldn't have said. But he truly believes that the Shane that he knows and loves is not that Shane. Hello, I wanted to jump on before I started posting videos again to acknowledge what's been going on uh, with Shane and I and Shane's past and I didn't initially jump in and insert myself because I didn't want to add to the intense negativity that was circulating about all of these old clips. And I wanted to process and think for myself. With Shane's past, I've been with Shane for four years and a lot of these clips date seven, eight to 10 years ago. And I understand that Shane's made highly insensitive and offensive jokes. And I know that while they were far in his past, it's hard to separate that person from who he is today, especially when you're seeing them in real time and your feelings are being hurt right now. And I can never take that away from you. And I would never say you have to accept his apology or even ask that you do. I know that Shane has had to address his past more than most people probably in the world, because every few years it comes back up to ruin him, to cancel him, and it's forced him to look into what he did, its impact, how it made people feel, 
and really truly grow from that. And I think if you've been watching Shane for a long time, you've experienced his growth and you know that he is a genuine person with good intentions. Now, obviously some people are happy with this response. Other people are very much not. And it all really depends on which side of this you're really on. But one point that has been brought up is that Ryland focused only on the offensive humor that Shane had used in his past videos years ago. But he didn't bring up the allegations that Shane had orchestrated the by sister scandal with the help of Jeffree Star. And he also didn't really bring up a lot of people's concerns that Shane's whole empathic thing was just for show. Although it seems sort of implied that Rylan was saying that that's not the case, since he was pretty much saying the Shane that I know is loving and kind and all that. Now, although he didn't talk about the allegations regarding the Bi Sister scandal, Rylan did actually tweet about Tati after she made her second video recently. And if you don't know about that video, in it she said that she had been manipulated by Shane and Jeffrey and that she was sorry to James. If you want to know more about that, I have made a video on it. The link will be in the description. Anyway, back to Rylan's tweets. In those he did call Tati manipulative. So it's very clear which side he stands on there, although it's not clear why he didn't bring this up. It could be because most of the hate on Shane right now is focused on his offensive humor in his past videos. However, it could also be that Ryland doesn't want to bring this up on his YouTube channel in order to add more heat to the flame or heat to the fire. What? What is the phrase? <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say. Or it could also be that Ryland himself truly believes that the allegations that Shane was involved with any of this drama is ridiculous and didn't feel the need to bring it up. Anyway, any ideas or theories that we have for why he didn't bring it up is pure speculation, so it's sort of up to you to decide what you believe on that. Now, interestingly, a little while ago, Morgan Adams also made a video talking about Shane Dawson. And in this, she said something similar to Ryland that the Shane she knows now isn't the Shane that was in those videos. However, she went a little bit further and said that she doesn't like those videos, she doesn't support them, and that they weren't okay, and she can see that. But she does think that Shane is completely different than he was back then. Now, because the two of these people have spoken out and they are people that are very close to Shane, people are wondering why more people aren't saying things. First of all, they're wondering why Jeffrey isn't defending Shane. Although it's very likely that Jeffrey just doesn't want to make this drama go any further because people were quite angry at him as well. And since he's come back to YouTube and started making videos again, he hasn't really addressed the drama. He's just sort of trying to continue on like nothing happened. And people are also wondering wondering where Garrett is in all of this and why he hasn't stood up to say something about Shane. And people have also been speculating that they're not even friends anymore. However, just to reiterate, that is pure speculation. There's no proof of that. Nobody has said outright that they're not friends. But if it is true, it's a little bit suspicious. So is Shane a changed person or not? We don't really know. Is his whole I'm an empath thing sort of fabricated just to take the heat off some of the things he's done in the past? I'm still inclined to believe yes, but you can believe whatever you want to. And there isn't any proof of that, it's just how I feel. Anyway, do let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comments. Do you think that Ryland and Morgan are telling the truth? Do you think that Shane really has changed? Or do you think he's just the same person as he always was? Let me know that down in the comments. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me for now. As I said at the start of the video, please subscribe and check out the memberships if you want to. And you can also follow me on social media. Like, comment, share, and do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video, and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.